Hey, what's up, y'all? Before we get into this video, make sure you smack that subscribe button and have that bell ringing so you can be the first to know every time we drop that heat. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Wazy, one member of GFG, and I am back again to give you another Madden 18 tip. This time, we are gonna help you in the red zone. Now, a play I like, the Gunny Slot X Spot, which you can find in a couple different playbooks, but I use Carolina's offensive playbook. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click the X Spot, and uh, most times when you get into the red zone, inside the 10 yard line, most people are gonna play a cover two, just because it gives them more yellow hook zones to try to stop any kind of slants. It also allows them to cover the outsides with hard flats. Um, so it's just something that most people are going to automatically play and this will beat it. So we're gonna click the X spot and we're gonna put our defense on the cover two hard flat. So first thing you're gonna do is X is gonna be your primary receiver. X is who you're looking for. Um, there's a cup, there's two hot routes that I'm gonna do to this play. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to make triangle drag and then we are going to motion square closer to the line. Right when he gets about circle, we're gonna say hut. Uh, most people you're playing are gonna use their the middle linebacker. First thing they're gonna do is triangle is going to um, distract them and then square is gonna distract them and X should be wide open above and we'll show you here. So as you see, doors open wide and he is there. Um, believe it or not, that will happen the first time you do the play for sure. If they're in a cover two, they're going to fall for that. But after you do that, they are going to commit to that because they know that's the threat. They do not want to get beat that way. So the second read on it, doing the same exact thing, sending triangle and a drag, bringing square across, is you are going to let that user follow X and if you give it some time, square is gonna be sitting right, wide open in the middle of the field. And so we'll do that here. And so as you see there, I got the animation where my guy just fell. But that's gonna that put us on the two yard line. That's basically six yards. And that's something that's gonna really stretch that user. He's not gonna be able to play both of them and he's gonna have to decide. Another, another adjustment to this is to put triangle on a, uh, a slant and put square on a five and in. This will also put a little bit of pressure on that user um, and also keep things in the middle where he is going to have to pick his poison. And I'll show you here. We're gonna do the same thing with Square, even though he's on a five and in, we're gonna motion him just to give him a little bit of delay. So that's a quick tip for you guys in the red zone. It's, it's a play that I always go to. It's one of my go-to red zone plays. Um, you also can audible to the run play if they commit to the pass too much. Um, it's just something that gives you a couple different reads and it really pushes the user skills of your opponent. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like and hit that subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. It's your boy Wade B. Keep God first and we'll see you in the next one.